Wrapping up a series of press conferences outlining the government's plans to resolve the nation's five shortages, Premier Lai Qingde today addressed Taiwan's lack of labor and professional talent. He claimed that recent legislative changes, including extending the length of stay of visas for professionals, would help attract overseas expertise and promised to do more to help job seekers find suitable employers. But most importantly, he urged businesses to work with the government to keep talent on shore and suggested that companies raise salaries. Addressing Taiwan's chronic labor shortage, Premier Lai stressed that the government would step up efforts to match up workers with employers. However, he also stressed that the onus was on industries to upgrade. Aside from providing these specific measures to meet the needs of industries that are facing labor shortages, we can't avoid the issues of upgrading our industry and technological innovation. This is necessary. Addressing Taiwan's shortage of white-collar professional talent, Premier Lai said the Cabinet had already reduced the maximum income tax rate from 45 per cent and 40 per cent, and had also extended the length of residence permits for foreign professionals from three to five years. He added that the cultivation of local talent required strength and cooperation between the educational and industrial sectors. However, Lai also said that it was most important for the government to work hand-in-hand -hand with industries to invest together in Taiwan and its people. Businesses should share more of their profits with employees and also raise starting salaries. For example, a starting salary beneath 30,000 NT dollars is too low for a listed company or a multinational company. Premier Lai called on traditional industries to upgrade and innovate. After all, while the government can promote plans to resolve Taiwan's five industrial shortages, the most effective solutions will come through businesses themselves taking the initiative to improve.